righty, it's officially that time of year where I make my final and official prediction for 2024, and let me tell you, despite having half of the puzzle complete with blueprints and all, I am pretty lost still, and this is the first year ever where I am not confident in the rides. Uh, the dry park of things that we'll be getting in 2024. Now, I will say when it comes to Splashworks, I'm very confident. So in 2024, to start it off with what I know, uh, we will be seeing a investments going into Splashworks. For those of you that know, our Splashworks water park is so underinvested in and it is so... Uh, what's a polite way of saying it? It is just ugly. It really is just ugly. It is just not up to date with Cedar Fair standards uh, in water parks. Um, and I think this is the year you're going to fully see them invest in the water park and bring it up to standard. In fact, I think they've already been showing it. So with the new water pump house and the back of the Mountain Bay Cliff Jumping Experience, Cedar Fair has actually gone in and rethemed the backs of those and the, the entire water pump house itself that burnt down to be Frontier Canada theming. So that was pretty interesting. I think we're going to see that theme continue. Um with a large scale water slide and um, a, a reinvestment in some of the buildings and infrastructure and uh, even uh, a bar and uh, a playhouse, if that's what you call them. I'm not sure what you call those little water pump playhouses, but I, I fully see them rebuilding the one that is right by the wave pool. Um, with that being said, um, I definitely think we could see even two water slides. I do know that they were looking at redoing some of the water slides in the water park. I'm not sure they've moved forward with a lot of those. I'm hearing in the industry um, that one specific project that would have been really cool actually isn't moving forward to next year. So that's a shame. Um, I can't discuss too much on that, but um, I, I will say the industry as a whole, they are moving forward with um, new um, kind of technology to limit the amount of lifeguards that water parks need, which actually makes sense. So we'll see what that translates into the water park industry itself. But let's move on into my predictions for the dry park. Um, I think that Wonderland is going to be slowly transitioning Frontier Canada uh, from 2024 into 2025. Uh, and we're going to see that with the Rapids ride. This is just a prediction. I have actually not heard any concrete information. So this is just a wild prediction. But I think it's a pretty safe one. So for those of you that saw the survey, you saw the, you know, the GCI family wooden coaster that they were teasing. And in front of it, it had a whole themed area. And a lot of us were speculating that this new themed area was around the Whitewater Canyon area. So I could totally see in 2024 Wonderland doing half of what you saw in that wooden coaster blueprint or survey picture um, and doing a wa Whitewater Canyon lesser than what you see on the screen right now for Calico River Rapids and uh, introducing our kind of like um, Forbidden Frontier experience. Uh, with a Whitewater Rapids upgrade. So I, I definitely think that's a plausible um, outcome, and it kind of leads them into whatever they choose to build in the Whitewater Canyon coaster-wise. Again, those surveys could have changed things. Um, I know a lot more about how Wonderland bids on attractions now. And when I say Wonderland, this is every theme park, but very specifically, I know how Wonderland bids on attractions now. And it's a lot more interesting than you think. Um, I'm going to use an example, and this is not a concrete example because I don't want to get anyone in trouble. But let's say Wonderland was looking at a specific pot of land. Um, actually, I'll use the current one. So the mountain area, you see a lot of those survey markings pop up. What Wonderland does is they'll have a survey company come in and they'll survey an area and they'll create a boundary and survey specific objects and points of interest and electrical and all that. And then what Wonderland's going to do is they're going to have some sort of concept in mind. So as you know, Wonderland seems to want some sort of launch coaster that launches into the mountain and out of it and back around. What they'll then do is go to manufacturers like Bulger and Mal Mabillard, Intamin, Vacoma, any of the ones that they are interested in. They're not going to go to everyone, but they're going to go to a bunch of people. They're not just going to go to Bulger and Mabillard. I can confirm that. And they're going to ask them to come up with a concept within a certain budget. 
um, and then they'll receive a bunch of concepts. So again, with this wooden coaster in Whitewater Canyon, there are probably other concepts from other manufacturers. And if the surveys didn't do so hot, they might actually move forward with a different concept. So don't be so sold on the family GCI. So it'll truly be uh, a surprise on what Wonderland chooses. Um, I can't see the wooden coaster doing super well in those surveys. I think Wonderland expects people to be truly honest at what they're seeing before them. Um, and I think that the way they described the wooden coaster, even though we all know that a GCI, even if it is a family GCI, is going to be pretty awesome in itself, I think a lot of guests might actually have voted it down. Um, but again, if they still have family in mind, Wonderland may also know that would have happened and they might choose that regardless. But just to put a little food for thought, there are other options for that plot of land as well outside of that family GCI. Um, so just keep that in mind. And um, on top of that, I, I definitely, as you saw at the beginning of this video, I think that a dark ride isn't out of the equation either. For those of you that have been around this channel for a while, I am not giving up hope on our beloved action theater and Wonderland um, wanting to turn that into a Winterfest uh, approved attraction with a dark ride and to obviously escape the heat. And, you know, um, the climate is becoming warmer. It is becoming more rainy, as you saw this year. So indoor attractions never hurt a company like uh, an outdoor amusement park. So I definitely see uh, action theater being developed in Frontier Canada as well into some sort of mining um, elevator type-esque um, dark ride. I could totally see a pre-show where you're going down similar to Treasure Hunt. Um, that just opened in California, going down an elevator shaft as a pre-show, like a, and then you board a Sally dark ride or an Intamin dark ride, one of those uh, theater dark rides as well. But I don't see them moving down the flying theater aspect, as the park has confirmed. They don't like to build attractions that exist elsewhere in Canada, and unfortunately, the flying theater has been picked up by a Toronto uh, company. So definitely don't see Wonderland moving down that route. But yeah, those are my official predictions obviously we can probably see maybe a zamperla um kids ride added near snoopy's racing railway or even a zamperla uh flat ride package near um frontier canada as well um i'm sure a lot of you guys have questions about world expo again that area is still about three years out so um, the most we'll see in the next like one to three years is ride removals. So definitely keep an eye out for those. I am sticking to Time Warp is on the way out. It may not be at the end of this season, um, but I definitely think it's on the way out as of next season, the latest. But yeah, awesome. Thanks so much for watching today's video, guys. Um, and comment down below what you guys think we're going to be getting in 2024, because as I said, I only know the water park side of things. I do also want to, whoa, I do want to touch on one more thing. The park is surveying the entire park as a whole, which does also make this really difficult. But I also think that shows a really good sign that you could see parts of the park receive um, upgrades. So theming upgrades, um, restaurant upgrades, building upgrades, and all that. Kind of restoring the park to an actual theme park. So definitely stay excited, guys. Comment down below what you think is coming in 2024. And thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.